Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is a regularly scheduled meeting of South County Emergency uh, Medical Service uh, Board of Oversight, uh, March 15th, call to order at 5.07. Zach, our director, you want to give your uh, monthly report, please? Sure. Do you want to approve uh, last month's minutes? We will get there. We'll get there. Okay. Yes, we'll get there. All right. Uh, let's see. Outreach. Um, been meeting. We had the Franklin County EMS Committee meeting this uh, annual meeting. It's a big one. We have it regularly, but um, talked to my compatriots at the other departments, and uh, we're really interested in going ahead with kind of figuring out what resources we have at the county level and being able to make ourselves avail ourselves as an EMS resource um, on the bigger scheme of things. So I, I mentioned this before. Uh, it's just. Um, further discussion on that and we have buy-in now with our medical control physician and the police departments and stuff like that so uh, we're still very preliminary but that's that's a good sign for the health and well-being of everybody tomorrow we've got a mentor meeting that's our normal South County EMS mentor meeting with our training coordinator Matt Wilkenbright um, we have quite a few employees who are in various stages of uh, orientation precepting things like that so that's a regularly scheduled meeting, and we think we're going to have a lot of uh, progress um, tomorrow with that. Uh, a group of us, um, Franklin Regional Transit Authority, FRTA, uh, have invited all the area public safety departments to come by and be trained um, on their equipment, their buses, things like that. For a long time, we've included the FRTA as part of our emergency response planning. So if we needed to evacuate apartment complexes or nursing homes or things like that, how would we go about doing that? And we would call on them to use their buses. But um, they're spearheading a, a program where we're going to come in, they're going to show us the ins and outs, how to be safe around those buses, the like the wheelchair ramps and things like that. So that's going to be happening next week for our agency and I know that they're inviting some other departments up as well. Yeah. Um, the FY19 budget that was a voted and approved by the BOO um, at our last meeting has been presented to the towns of Sunderland and Waitley and the respective uh, finance committees and the Deerfield presentation is scheduled for Thursday, March 22nd at 5.30 p.m. So I will be there uh, presenting our budget and answering any questions they have. Staff, I'll be there too. Great. Um, and lastly, there was a question raised recently about the language in the IMA. And we've talked about this for a number of years about just cleaning up the language, um, some confusion. There's a reference in the IMA, it's included in my um, director's report here that says substantial changes to the agreement um, shall require town meeting approval in each of the existing member towns and it lists a change of locate change in location as an example of a substantial change and the question is what is a change in location and would a move to uh, this new building at 88 Greenfield Road from 84 Greenfield Road constitute a change in location. Um, this was raised by Wendy Fox from the Deerfield Town Administrator. She's CC'd Linda Mead, Town Council for Deerfield in on that. I haven't heard back from either of them yet, uh, but. It does not constitute a move. Okay. I mean, it does not constitute a change in that. Yeah. I, that, I mean, that's the, we're sharing the same driveway. Our on-duty staff is ostensibly Practically speaking, in the same location, our ambulances are responding from the same location. So, um, and all the member towns are staying the same, and things like that. Our coverage areas staying the same. So, that was my interpretation, but I don't get paid. Does anyone else see any issue with that from any of the other towns? You, Tom, Tom. Of course, sir. Do you think we need to bring it before the town meeting to you know vote that or? I just didn't I just figured now would be the time if we needed to, but I would I would, I would say reason. substantial I, I mean I, I don't consider it substantial I mean Correct. the ambulances have been housed in different locations, but I, I concur with, I personally agree with Zach that basically they're being dispatched out of the same lo same yeah, location. Uh, that was Le Lisa yeah. Mead, our legal counsel, determined that it Jonathan? was 
Yeah, no, I was just going to say because one of the ambulances has always been housed, it's more of an expansion of housing as opposed to a change in location of housing. Right. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Thank you. So, but Zach, can you please note that in the minutes? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That we had a brief discussion. I do. Do we want to vote on that? I don't think we need to. But I, I yeah. I I don't either. But I, I mean, I, I I can have Lisa me write up uh, email. You know, I mean, I don't. I don't think we even have to write anything up. I just right. think. Okay. You know, simple. Yeah, we had the discussion. Uh, Mr. Chair, I would suggest that once we are in the new location, because of conversations like the one we just had over the past five minutes, I think this board should take a, a look at the IMA to see what needs to be amended. Agreed. Now that we're there, there are, I agree. Years. There are yeah. a couple of things that we need to change. Yeah, yeah. I, I, and I, they're not major things. No, but they're, they're simple. It's just procedural things. Yeah, that brush yeah. correct. I agree. Great. Right. All right. Um, so, Zach, can you just note that in your minutes at the uh, yeah. um, discussion? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Um, yeah, do you agree with that? Yes. Okay. Yeah, and uh, that concludes my director's report. Nope. All right. Um, Zach, if you need money for the um, your training, uh, you just need to let me know so I can bring it to, um, forward to the um, Homeland Security Council. Oh, for the FRTA? No, no, the FRTA training is... Um, I think the REPC, we, we voted that last year, or encouraged that last year. Yeah. I'm talking about the other stuff that you were doing. Um, oh, at the very, that. yes, that's that's very preliminary. Um, I'm going to be look, talking with Warsaw, FERCOG, all those people, and, and do a needs assessment on the county level to okay. see. what we have a lot of people that are already trained in these things and certified yeah. in these things, and the first step is going to be taking an inventory of, of okay. that, so. All right. Well, when you do, if you do need money, just it has to go through a council member, so you yeah. can just go through me. Great. 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 Okay. All set. There, there. That. Yeah, I'm good with that. Okay. Uh, next up is the uh, minutes from the February 22nd meeting. I make a motion to approve the minutes from February 22nd. I'll second the motion. Yeah, motion made and seconded to uh, accept as presented the minutes from the 22nd of February. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Any unanimous, please? Yep. And um, anything else? Uh, no, that's okay. That's it for me. Okay, uh, go to the uh, South County EMS comments. Oh, good. Doing great job, Zach. <laughs> kind of a light meeting, but I it's a very light meeting. Yeah, I just That's feel like well, things are rolling along rolling really good. I'm excited. Can, you know, it looks like the, the building's getting built. And uh, my only my only thing is, uh, last month we had appointed uh, Kip and Bobby to uh, talk about costs for mm. housing. Kip, you want Kip, you want to report on that? Sure. Uh, Bob and I have met twice about it. We discussed the different items. And, uh, you know, I, I, although uh, Bob does have all the figures, but we pretty much kept in line with what uh, Zach had put before the uh, Capital Improvement Committee and the <coughs> Finance Committee in Deerfield. Um, one of the, a couple of items that we came into is that uh, I learned that uh, the building will not have a generator. and But I did learn um, through the Deerfield uh, wiring inspector what size generator it would require. And I've talked with uh, an electrical engineer, and we've got some prices on generators, so okay. it's, it's going to be pretty minimal. It's going to be, it'll be less than four thousand dollars. I um, tried to get a ref uh, refrigerator, a vaccine, um, uh, commercial refrigerator for us at EMS um, from DPH through our MAPCO group, our Mohawk Area Public Health Coalition, but they rejected the grant and made us buy um, like personal. Uh, protection devices, you know, that fit stuff. So we're getting a duffel bag worth of, you know, mask, mask kind of more permanent good fit mask um, that we'll just give to the EMS in case there's some kind of outbreak. But I did try to get a refrigerator mm -hmm. and it went all the way to the top, but last minute it got direct. But it, it would have been a good one because it would have been a big, good refrigerator. Could have kept vaccine in or just bigger stuff. Yeah. Jonathan, um, non sequitur. 
um, I told the people in Hatfield um, the, the the baseball parade. As everyone knows, we have an annual baseball parade that uh, celebrates baseball between pre-K all the way up to seventh graders who are still young seventh graders. The parade this year will be in Hatfield, and we always appreciate um, the third ambulance from South County EMS riding in the parade. Um, and so, <coughs> if uh, people from Hackfield representing Cal Ripken contact you. I'd appreciate it if uh, you guys could yeah could find find a, a crew to, to drive in the parade this year. It'll be Saturday, the last Saturday in April. Sounds great. In the morning, and then the ambulance folks are more than welcome to purchase hot dogs and hamburgers from the concession stand. We like to eat and, and watch the baseball games. Great. Oh. So that they'll they'll be contacting you in the in the near future. That's wonderful. So so Kip, you had uh, we were talking about fifty thousand dollars. Do we do we need to uh, add that to our budget for come out of retained earnings or how was that done? I think well we didn't discuss that aspect of it, but I think at the one of the last meetings we had, I thought that's exactly uh, where it was going to come from. From retained earnings. Yeah. So we have, don't we have to put a motion, uh, an article together for uh, town meetings for the towns? No, because it would be available. I mean, hopefully we'll be moving into our building sooner. And we had, remember we had talked about using our ambulance funds. Mm -hmm. And then um, um, just make more increased payments of how many, how much money we actually use. Didn't we have a discussion about that? And some people didn't really like that way of doing yes. it. Why not? Well, they thought that since the money was appropriated for the ambulance, now we're using it for something else, it would be maybe considered misappropriation of the funds. But it's but only a, tangentially. I mean, it's still a, in an enterprise in an yeah. enterprise fund. You you are, you can't segregate it out. It's okay. us keeping the money. We know there's 108. We're going to add another 57. So okay. if we choose, in the meantime, as the board of oversight, to use that money before July 1st to, you know, furnish the place, and then we make a petition to the, uh, um, you know, in our next budget that we instead of paying 57,000 as a set aside, we pay yeah. 67 for the next two years or whatever. <laughs> It makes totally sense. Yeah. It makes sense to me too. I just wanted to bring it up because the money's just sitting there. Why would we have to tell more money? Oh, I, I get it. Yeah. Okay. Trevor, any comments on that? Are you okay with that? I'm good with that. Yep. Gary, also? Mm -hmm. um, um, Zach, you can more memorialize that conversation? Also, yeah, um, we'll do. One last thing. Uh, we talked about having a open house ribbon cutting ceremony mm. um obviously we don't know we can't plan for anything we don't know but ems week is may 20th through the 26th um well, that's a good so if if and when we start to i just wanted to also memorialize that that ems week will be in the end of may um so we will be celebrating emergency medical services throughout the country um so May 20th to the 26th? Yeah, yeah, that week. The 19th we have a fun fair at the elementary school, but that following Saturday, or if we did a Sunday or something like that. Okay. So well, we definitely want to do something. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah, Sunday's probably easier than Saturday. Yeah. Just because there's more Games stuff going on on Saturdays. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, maybe some more. So Sunday afternoon, not to compete with right. services. Absolutely. And, yeah. You get that. Sounds fun. Now, South County is uh, presenting budget to Deerfield tomorrow night? No, the 22nd. 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 Next, yep. next week from tonight? Week from tonight. That'll be the last one? Correct. You've done Whiteley Sunday. I have. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And, and Zach, can you report on how the conversations in Whiteley and Sunderland went? Um, sure, and please fill in the gaps if I don't recall Whiteley exactly. Um, Basically, uh, we presented the information as, you know, we're expecting um, our retained earnings amounts to go up um, a little bit, and our expenses, operating expenses, are uh, level um, for the same amount of services. 
uh, and that's despite absorbing some increases for our radio system fees and um, Deerfield uh, associate, what, uh, administrative, administrative costs. costs. Um, uh, we do see an increase in our expenses that's coming from the personnel side of the house, so increased expenses for retirement, health insurance, um, and the class comp adjustments that have occurred in Deerfield. Um, and uh, that's all being offset this year with $204,000 of retained earnings. Um, so. Um, each town is getting a hell of a bargain. Um, it did go up a little bit uh, from last year, but as, um, as we rely less and less on retained earnings because we have um, fewer and fewer of those dollars available to us, um, we're kind of we're getting into kind of what you know where we can expect to stay. I think the conversation went really well in Waitley. Um, I agree. Um, Very well received. Right. Yeah. It's awesome. Um, you know, increased call volumes going around. We talked about the distribution of that. It's staying consistent, you know, where it's always been, just kind of everything's going up a little bit. Fortunately, it's the same though. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and uh, yeah, I don't know. What am I missing? N nothing. I just, I just, you know, I'm, I'm hoping that we find consistency in terms of responses that you're receiving be between three towns. And I don't yeah. see any reason why you, why you wouldn't, but it's always just nice to, 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 to amplify the great stuff that's happened as we move to the next yeah. town and then to town meetings because these questions will take place on town meetings. Yeah, of course. On three of them. Yeah. Obviously. yeah. So. Um, I would say Sunderland's conversation was even um, less eventful. Um, presented the information and I, no question, I mean, everything was upfront and transparent and everybody was like, yeah, it makes total sense. You know, we, we like what you guys are doing and um, I was in and out of there pretty quick. Um, and I'm sure next Deer, week. Deerfield would be just the same. Yeah, yeah, sure about it. Yeah. I had a question. I, I did notice that in the budget there was still was either seventy six or seventy eight thousand dollars for overtime pay. Um, I, I don't see any reason to, to lower that at this point, but can you work you know as diligently as you can to keep that to a minimum and yeah, I understand how, how why it needs to be there. But. Yeah, of course, and I you know our estimations on overtime pay are are pretty low. I think it's like you know four hours a month per employee of overtime is what we're budgeted for, and we're under that you know this Good. far into the year. So um, it's um, I mean obviously keep an eye on it because it's not just the dollars. I mean that's yeah. that's additional time those people are asking to operate at a high level. So we want to limit that as mm -hmm. you know and give them their respite. Um, uh, you know, that has been under control, and the only other thing, um, I have been yeah. monitoring it, but the only other yeah, thing that, the, um, the way it's that accounted, you expended, you have like when we yeah. have so holidays, it's yeah. chucked in as the overtime, you know, yeah. it's time and a half. Yeah. And so, Even though that's not true overtime. If it's not yeah. true overtime. Right. Yes, right. But, but they're, because they're working the holidays, it counts as overtime, you know, that time and a half. So. It comes out of that line for all the holidays, so all right. it's a little distortive. Okay. Um, but what was happening before when we were understaffed mm -hmm. and all that kind of stuff—that's not happening. Right. Right. You know, and, and I think that that people get angst-ridden about overtime when they see individual salaries escalating dramatically mm -hmm. um, up towards six figures because of overtime. I don't. I don't. I know we don't have that issue here, but that's that's when I think that people are gonna raise an eyebrow about overtime when they see salaries that they're not convinced are justified. So I don't think we have an issue. I, I think our overtime would be pretty good check. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I, th that overtime is when people are held, um, you sure. know, things I get like that, so it's. We do recertifications later in the year, is that right? Um, uh, recertifications, uh, yeah, everybody, our recertification happens April 1. I was going to say, yeah. yeah. We so, haven't expended much at all. Yeah. Right. So, between typically between January 1st and April 1st is when you see people submit for, for recertification fees. Okay. So, um, right. Yeah. Um, good. All set? Yeah. Um, Okay, any, uh, any more comments for good of uh, South County EMS? Very happy with the service. Uh, only that after um, our April REPC meeting, we'll have a date for the tabletop for Vigilant Guard that um, I'm hoping that 
the EMS will participate in, and then we'll have Vigilant Guard in November 8th and 9th, I think it's scheduled to be here. Yep, already in our calendar, already on our radar. Yep. I just don't have a tabletop date yet, because it hasn't been um, voted on at the Homeland Security for money yet. Okay, motion to adjourn. Second. Uh, entertain a motion to adjourn. It's been seconded. Any further discussion? Uh -huh. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. aye.